TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network uh, market update. And we're looking at on this Monday, the 25th of uh, April, the Dow's down 422, S&P's down 51. Look at the dollar. The dollar's up at 101.72, up 50 cents. It looks really good. It looks like it really wants to try to get over the next few weeks to the 102.99 all-time high of January, I believe it was 2020. Um, and we're looking at uh, gold down sharply. Gold is down uh, 38 is really struggling. It's gone just below us at the at really important support. Uh, 1866 will be the level to watch. The 200 period moving average is down at 1895 right now. You're looking at crude oil having a sharp down day, down six at 96.03. Also in the H pattern that goes to lowercase m. You're looking at um, so the Dow is down uh, 415. And that's going to be very important because in the context of what we're looking at here, this left side, right side, vertical line, uh, technical match, much weaker here. This is really important that by the end of the day, we get some kind of support to at least save the day at 33,411. You want to see 33,620 touched in the next two days. On the upside, S&P at this particular point, S&P is trading at... Uh, it's down 50 at 42.21. Mm, not good. Now we're getting closer to the 418 level. Then 411.14 is the low of the 24th of February. Not a very good chart pattern. We're looking at QQQ was weak, then it was then it was strong, then it was weak, and now it's weak again. It actually was up two points just a moment ago. Now it's at 324.58, trying to establish some kind of a base. It's really important. If you're looking at the VIX index, the VIX index keeps uh, holding the highs of the day. Here it is at 30.52, up 2.31. It's going to have to really slide towards the 29.10, 28.30 level with the Dow turning around and actually being down only about 120 points in the afternoon for this to be a, become a positive session. So far, it's very weak. And also, the other thing that we're looking at here is that within the context of the different sectors, the XLP, which was a leader for so long, that's the S&P Select Staples Spider Fund, very weak right now. That's not a good sign. So when you get leadership that starts to fail, there's a little transitory period where some other sectors try to pick it up. We haven't seen where that is just yet. We'll see by the end of the day. So have a good session. I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pizzavento. Great programming here at TFNM for the rest of the day. And check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. And I'll see you back here on Tuesday. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be